Okay, so let's download Goods and Print. So we'll save that and shut the tab down. So the USB connected drivers, if you haven't got USB printer then it's not absolutely necessary. Well in fact it's not necessary at all. Um, because obviously the um, hardware won't be used by the printer. Um, but we can check that. USB underscore support in the Linux sources. you can see USB support is is in there um, then the other bit we need to look for well the OHCI and the OHCI are the different types of slow speed um, USB, USB port um, In fact, I'm not sure if it's more the protocol, so even if you've got a fast speed port, you'd need these activated to um, ensure that the printer worked. I, I presume USB printers don't work any faster. So you can see that they're all set. So we're, we're set to go anyway. If I had a USB printer, it would work. So let's expand this. Uh, so let's have a look at the configuration. There is, uh, sorry, the command explanations. There's no extra commands. So let's now build this. Paste that in. And press enter. Okay, so that's built. Uh, now I can run the tests. It does say it'll take a very long time. Um, last tested in June 2019. 
It's 75 SBU, so it may take several hours. Um, it does say the test used only one CPU, which is probably why it takes long. So I wonder if it's worth trying to run make check with uh, minus J4. See how that works. Um, actually, I should time this. Oh, yeah, I have done. Right, well, that finally finished testing. Um, it looks like it's taken about, I think, just under 60 hours with looks at that time there. Um, that's roughly two and a half days, so, um, yeah, you might want to consider whether you've got um, a CPU with good single thread. Um capabilities before running that so it's a shame it doesn't run on all cores even if it did it still take um a, well about three quarters of a day so about 18 hours or so so it's still a a hefty test um thankfully it doesn't appear that anything failed so that's good despite what it says in the manual that um one, one test failing. Uh, if I just scroll back, you can see there's absolutely no failures. Although there's only a small number of passes, there are no exceptions to those passes. So let's now go ahead and install Glitz and Print. So sudo su. Copy and paste these commands. And that's finished, so I can mark that one as complete in chapter 46 and tidy up as well. And I'll just see. Uh, how much space this took. Okay, it's barely anything. That's interesting. I'd like to know what it was actually doing for all that time. Okay, so that's good and print. Uh, for cups, to see newly installed print drivers, we need to restart this. As root. And then as it says, we can point the browser to local host to configure cups to set up a new printer. Now I won't go into this because it's not really um, part of this as such. Um, and also depending on the type of printer you have, it depends on how it installs. For example, my particular printer, there is actually a separate PPD which I downloaded and it's got quite a few features on it, probably more than this. Uh, open source one has got um, so yeah I'd probably that's help isn't it uh, administration yeah I can just point you quickly what to do go to administration um, add a printer you need to log in as root or I'm not sure if the user with the Cups access if cup, um, the user's got cups access that should work. Let's try logging in as root. All right, yes, it has worked. So it's discovered my network printer. Let's see how it copes with that.
so it wants so it has got a driver um, so it wants the driver for it suggested the top one um, here you can see that you can provide a PPD file so as I say for this particular printer I normally uh, download a PPD from Kyocera and um, add that in instead although this seems to have quite a few standard options um, as I remember it did say that this wasn't complete this implementation or is experimental so there is a chance it may not work in all, all occasions but it does seem to have um, yeah it just seem to have a good set of options there so if I do manage printers yeah there it is there in fact if I go back Go back to administration to manage printers. Um, you can see there it is a cut and print driver that is in operation at the moment. So that's that's just a quick guide of uh, how to configure a printer anyway. Um, right, so yes, that's a uh, cut and print. So I've tied it up. I'll shut that down and in fact that might be worth bookmarking for the future so I'll do that in case I, I can never remember the uh, I've done that wrong add to bookmarks uh, I can never remember the port number myself 631 